Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I thought we could have a closer look at the Expertise and Gypsum system. How it works, and what you need to know before the patch, so let's get into it. So what is this new system exactly? Well, before, as you know, we had the high watermark system, which essentially was a system in place that made you loot elite chests, do dungeons, and all sorts of endgame activities in the hope that you would loot an item with a slightly higher gear score than before. This would then record secretly in an unknown location in your character file, which was annoying. Then, you would be able to potentially loot next time something even higher level, again until eventually after a lot of grinding, you would max out all of your slots. This still, however, did not guarantee any max level loot from these activities simply unlocked the drop potential maximum. With this new system, a few things have changed. It is essentially the same system. However, now, we can see our current top expertise, which is Watermark renamed, on our paper doll, so no more need to keep spreadsheets while you play. Also, you will be rewarded this new resource for your time, called Gypsum, which guarantees when you have done enough activities collecting it, an expertise boost. Which is good, because although, they have reduced your chances now of receiving an item that will give you a bump. They have provided a guaranteed bump of plus 2 to 5 per day to 7 potential item types of your choosing, if you complete all of the activities. This is both good and bad, in that now even when you're suffering from that bad RNG looting all day and not getting a boost, you're guaranteed one in the end. But on the bad side, what does greatly reduced mean? I guess only time will tell if chest runs will still be viable for expertise after the patch. How does this system work? Well, to begin, let's look at the gypsum and the various types you can earn. First, we have obsidian gypsum. You receive this by defeating level 60 plus open world name bosses, typically found in elite landmarks. This can be misleading. Bosses like Fae the Last Protector, Luca, and so on will not drop this. This will only drop from bosses found in elite zones like Siren's Gun, the Dancing Bear, and mobs like that. So don't waste your time farming these for gypsum post patch. Sapphire Gypsum is found by defeating the final bosses of the Lazarus Instrumentality in the Garden of Genesis. This one is pretty self-explanatory. You have to do one of these per day to get this gypsum. The Ruby Gypsum is a reward for completing Outpost Rush. To complete this daily, you will need to do two Outpost Rush games. The Emerald Gypsum is found in Trade Skill Aptitude Reward Containers. This one you will get when you get to the Trade Skill Aptitude Box Reward. The harvesting skills, along with furniture, seem right now to be the easiest way to go about this, or maybe even cooking. Citrine Gypsum is a reward upon completing an arena. The Amethyst Gypsum is rewarded upon completing breaches. These you will get from completing any breach events, even the level 25 ones. I did 7 to test on the PTR and completed this daily on the ones around Windsward that were only level 25. The Topaz Gypsum is found on hostile creatures level 55 plus, but only after consuming a special attunement potion that can be crafted at your tier 5 camp. This potion was originally on a 7 day cooldown, but now is 1 day with 1 the ingredients, so you can complete this daily. Also I want to note here, if you can max arcana, you will get a 20% chance to craft a second potion, which will save you a ton of mats over time. And finally, the newly added Diamond Gypsum. This can only be found during certain events in Eternum. During the Winter Convergence Festival, level 60 players will earn this Gypsum when interacting with their first three trees of light on each day. So it will likely be a thing during whatever event they have going on at whatever time. So once you have gathered all of these, what do you do with it? Well, in all of the higher level zones, like Ebonscale Reach, the Outposts in the Shattered Mountains, Greekwater, and so on, you will find a new crafting building called the Gypsum Kiln. So you go to one of these kilns. You will visit them every 18 hours in order to increase your expertise. You do this by first crafting gypsum orbs. There is a different orb associated with each gypsum type. There is nothing here you can do to give yourself a chance at a bonus. It just is one per 18 hours per type. Then, once you have crafted the orbs, you can then choose which slot you would like to bump by plus two to plus five expertise and craft a cast.
When you consume this cast, you will receive a plus 2 to 5 to expertise in the item type. Now the bonus here, and what I believe will make it nice later on, is you are also guaranteed an item of that type and of that expertise to go along with it. So when you are 580 plus expertise, this will be a very nice way to get some sweet items for those slots you haven't been able to fill yet. So that basically covers it. In theory, this system could be a huge improvement over the old high watermark system if everything works as described. And, unbelievably, so far on the PTR it seems to. It will allow us to choose what things we want to do each day, and if we have the time, we can do them all. And if not, we do what we can. This system will at least give us a feeling of being able to progress in a linear, clear way we can see on our character, with rewards for our time. I think it will make things feel a little less grindy, to be honest. Not having to choose between farming iron or wood, or whatever to sell, or running chess all day to improve our watermark, but getting bumps for both. Anyway guys, I hope this video was a little bit helpful, and if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. I always read them and try to respond. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.